Let's go straight to the point. The role of chemistry in ceramic production. So, these two keywords, chemistry and ceramic, are the common thread of this podcast. We know that topics concerning chemistry can be sometimes very complex, especially when they are related to ceramic production processes. For this reason, we would like to share our knowledge and ideas with those who want to receive training or even simple information. And it doesn't matter if you want to do it for passion or for work. So we will try to build together by using a very simple language, an educational space with a focus on processes, applications, and products. We will start a journey along the production lines, like we were in a subway. At each stop, we will talk about a specific subject. For each subject, we will discover a problem, and for each problem, we will try, when possible, to offer one or more solutions. I would like also to tell you that the name of this project, which is apparently invisible, was born from a very simple and, for some ways, ironic facts. Here it is. All chemicals usually used in ceramic are largely in the form of transparent and gelatinous blends, and they all have a common feature. They burn and evaporate inside the kills without leaving any visible trace. Despite their apparent invisibility, these products are essential not only for the proper development of the processes, but also to produce high-performing ceramic ties, both technically and aesthetically. I am Davide Trentini, and this is Apparently Invisible Chemistry in Ceramic.